Google is well on its way to releasing Android 11, the next generation version of the world's most popular mobile operating system. Android 11 has finally entered public beta, meaning that I was able to get my hands on it to check out what's new. Interested in checking out Android 11 for yourself? The public beta is a little buggy and you probably shouldn't install it on your main phone. Thankfully, however, I was able to install it on a Pixel 4. Here's everything you need to know about the new operating system. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and like the video. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. Perhaps the biggest changes to Android in Android 11 come in the form of more changes to how the operating system handles notifications. I know what you're thinking, more changes to notifications? But don't get frustrated yet. Pretty much all the tweaks to notifications in the Android 11 beta are helpful ones. For starters, Android 11 is changing the way that you chat, especially if you're a multi-platform chatter. In Android 11, notifications are grouped in new, more intuitive ways. Now, you'll get a section in the notification shade specifically for conversations, meaning that you can see your chat notifications at a glance. You can mark conversations as priority too, meaning that they'll get their own dedicated section in the lock screen. Perhaps even cooler is the fact that Google is bringing chat heads to Android 11. You might remember the chat bubbles that Facebook launched all the way back in 2013. And now, seven years later, it's a concept that Google is adopting too. The effect of having chat bubbles for all chat apps on Android is that you can manage all of your chats in one interface, without having to bounce back and forth between different apps. We all communicate to different people in different ways, and chat heads on Android 11 means that you don't necessarily have to juggle between different services all the time. Of course, major chat platforms will have to support the feature, and only time will tell if they actually take advantage of it. There are other changes to notifications in Android 11 too. Apart from conversations, there are two other notification sections, including alerting notifications and silent notifications. Alerting notifications generally work like notifications did previously, while silent notifications won't alert your phone. It's a great system and means that your notifications in general are better separated and easy to see at a glance. There are other major changes in Android 11 too. Notably, the power menu is getting some tweaks. In Android 11, the power menu on your phone is no longer only for turning your phone on or off. It's also to quickly access smart home features and payment methods. When you hold down the power button in Android 11, you'll open a menu with quick access smart home buttons at the bottom, payment options in the middle, and your standard power controls. It's a nice answer to Apple's control center, especially when it comes to being able to quickly control smart home devices. Then there are the other smaller tweaks to Android 11. On the home screen, you can now replace your dock with a row of Google suggested apps, though those apps aren't always spot on, and in the end, you might want to disable that feature. Then there are tweaks to the multitasking screen. When you enter multitasking, you'll see three new controls under the apps on the display, including a screenshot button, a select button, and a share button. The select button essentially highlights text within an app that can be quickly copied. It's an interesting feature, but it's hard to imagine that people will use it a lot. Permissions have gotten some tweaks in Android 11 too. In Android 11, you can now reset permissions for an app that you haven't used in a while, after which you'll be asked again for each permission that the app wants to use. Like Apple, Google has also added a one-time permission feature, which lets you grant specific permissions to an app once only. Those aren't all the tweaks in Android 11, but they are the biggest ones, and it will be interesting to see how Android 11 evolves over the beta process. The new operating system should be available to consumers sometime in the fall, along Inside the new Pixel 5. Thanks so much for watching this video and again please subscribe to the channel and like the video if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya!